Today, President Obama will host 22 members of Congress in a health care summit. Reforming the nation's health care system has been one of the top priorities of the White House for the last year. However, a final bill seems to still be a long way off. But with his signature issue in doubt, there's word now that the president has already started the groundwork on his reelection campaign. For more, we're joined by Nia Malika Henderson, White House reporter for Politico. Good morning. Good morning. Is this too early to be talking about 2012 already? Well, I mean, I think it's probably never too early uh, to begin a re-election campaign. At least this is the philosophy and strategy of this White House. They're already preliminary uh, looking at what this campaign would look like, where it would be, where it would be who would lead it. Uh, it looks like uh, the sources are telling Politico that it could be in Chicago and the gang would pretty much get together uh, back there. David Axelrod would have a prominent role. Uh, folks like David Clough and Jim Messina, who is the uh, deputy chief of staff uh, now. But of course, I mean, one of the things that's already going on is this health care push. And of course, that would obviously uh, be a, a big selling point uh, for Barack Obama's uh, re-election. He'll obviously face the same questions, I think, by 2012 about the economy. Uh, but every day is almost a re-election campaign for this, uh, for this White House. Some might argue with the fact that we still have the health care reform bill out there, the economy is where it is, that he hasn't had any major wins so far and that it might be too soon. This is sort of a, a preemptive thing to, to be talking about this now. Yeah, no, that, that's true, and, and, and you're exactly right. They haven't uh, put a lot of W's on the board uh, so far. They'll be talking about health care today and, and certainly with an eye toward uh, getting that done by all means uh, necessary. But again, I think most campaigns, if you look, I mean, one of the, the comments about the 2008 campaign was that it was like a never-ending campaign. It got started really early. And if you even look at the re-election campaigns of George Bush and Bill Clinton, they pretty much got started uh, a year after uh, their midterm elections. So the real kind of groundwork uh, is being laid now, but the official kickoff is still about a year away. What are you hearing so far in regards to the midterm elections? Because it seems like it's going to be an uphill battle um, for the Democrats. It certainly is going to be an uphill battle, and, and Democrats are obviously worried, and they have an eye toward uh, the midterm uh, elections uh, tomorrow when, when they have this, uh, or today, when they have this uh, health care uh, debate going on with the Republicans. So there is, I think, increasing fear uh, that the House hangs in the, uh, in the balance as well as the Senate, and the fear, of course, is that it would be a redux of, of 1994 uh, when Clinton faced a, a real kind of bloodbath in, in both houses. So there is worry uh, on the Hill about, about what this is going to look like. The White House, of course, our sources are saying, I mean, that's their big uh, concern now, too. Of course, they're looking at 20, uh, 2012, but they are uh, obviously f uh, feverishly looking at 2010 as well. And then on the GOP side, any tactics or change in strategy for them? Well, I, I think what their strategy, and it's quite frankly worked so far, has been really to say no, to really uh, be the voice of opposition and really be united uh, in really stymieing uh, the Democrats' plans, whether it's health care, whether it's cap and trade legislation. It's really worked. They've owned the debate on a lot of these issues uh, and really have forced, uh, forced the Democrats to really go on the offensive. And so far, uh, the Democrats haven't had a lot of uh, wins and, a, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of wins in terms of just the framing and language of of these uh, of these big issues, so we'll see them today uh, in in these health care debates in this six-hour summit with about 50, uh, 50 uh, folks and, and lawmakers and, and White House aides. It's going to be a re real battle uh, for who can control you know kind of the language and framing of this uh, health care debate. It'll be very interesting to see how it goes down. Nia Malika Henderson from Politico, as always, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.